folks, welcome to episode 8 of Very Science Lab Astronomy. Today we're going to be talking about none other than our home star, the Sun. The Sun is a 2 octillion ton giant in the solar system, accounting for more than 98% of the mass of the system. No other celestial body even comes close, not even Jupiter. The Sun can fit 100 Earths across its diameter, 10 Jupiters across its diameter, and can easily fit 1 million Earths inside its volume. So bottom line, the Sun is pretty freaking big. Now the Sun is about 98 million miles from the Earth, but despite that we can still feel its heat, its light, and its energy. Why? Because the sun uses more than 4 megaton billion of hydrogen bombs every single second. So, how does the sun compare to the other stars in our galaxy? Why? I'm glad you asked. The sun is actually pretty special compared to other stars in our galaxy. In fact, most stars are red dwarfs, meaning that the sun is in the top 10% of our stars in the galaxy, even though it's a medium-sized star. So just like a bar magnet that can create magnetic field, sun also creates magnetic field around it. And um, guess what? Gonna have to understand that magnetic field and, uh, and you know what? The earth is also a magne uh, magnet. Art creates magnetic field around it as well. So uh, today uh, we're going to understand the sun magnetic field and sun flares. Good question. The sun's magnetic field significantly impacts life here on Earth. In fact, solar flares and other coronal mass ejections can cause significant damage to the Earth's uh, satellite communications and modern civilization. But because of Earth's significant magnetic field, it actually shields us from these solar flares. So for example, when the sun's solar flares interact with the Earth's magnetic field, you actually have what is known as auroras near the poles. So these auroras are the consequence of magnetic field particles interacting with the sun's solar particles. And so what you see are these bright green streaks of light across the sky. So that's how the sun's magnetic field impacts life here on Earth.